Hi, welcome back to 365 Prints. Today I want to talk about that little poop of filament in the middle of your print bed before every print. All right, so uh, Sebastian, I think he's the one that actually wrote our uh, our firmware, our community firmware, he's developed some startup G code to help with that little droop of filament that appears on the middle of the print bed before every print. Let's go to the computer. I'll show you what I mean. Okay. So here we are <clears throat> at this website that I will post this link in the, uh, in the description. Um, this is Sebastian Damon's site. I believe this is the individual who has created our uh, community firmware. <clears throat> he has also created some start G code for us that actually prevents that little bit of filament poop you get in the middle of your bed at the beginning of each print. He has created startup G code for both Cura, Prusa Slicer, and Simplify 3D. Uh, for those of you I feel sorry for using Simplify 3D, you guys should really move on. Um, I use Super Slicer, which is based off of Prusa Slicer. So I used uh, this starting G code, and I basically just, um, where, where's my Super Slicer? Let's bring this up over here. If I go to Printer Settings, Custom G code, here is the start G code. Uh, this is what uh, this is what the default was for this printer under Super Slicer. So I just commented all of these out, and I added uh, Sebastian's code right here. So basically, I think let's see. Let's look at this. Uh, use absolute coordinates. Extrude around to mode. Yeah, see, the first thing that they're doing in the generic uh, startup G-code here is they're, they're heating up the uh, extruder and the bed to the temperature that you want to print at, and then they're doing the home axis, which... Yeah, basically, they're, they're setting the temperature to the print temp, and then they're starting the, the G-code. Then they're homing, which is going to put the little droop of, of plastic filament right in the middle of your bed. So what this G-code is doing is the first thing it does is it homes, which with the community firmware, it's only going to raise the temperature up to the minimum it needs to do the homing. It's not, it's, that's not the print temp. I think it's actually about 140. 140 Celsius, which isn't going to let that filament actually stick to the bed. Um, yeah, so select the correct G code for, for whatever slicer you're using and paste that in. And, uh, and now I'm going to show you what, what it actually does. And I'm even going to take the, the camera here and attempt to position it even closer so you can see. Get a little get into focus, please. Thank you. And so because the uh, print head isn't at the print temperature, it's only at 145C, it should not leave a little droop of filament in the middle of your bed. Okay, I'm gonna put the camera back here. And now it's going to, um, Now it's going <laughs> to shortly get up to our print temperature. Which uh, on this particular print I have set at 215. 
So it's going to take a moment to get up to that 215 temperature. Bear with us. Two twelve, two thirteen, two fourteen, two fifteen. And now it's going to uh, draw a purge line on the very side of the bed. And then it's going to do a little group and then start to print. So that's what the beginning G code does. So that's Sebastian's startup G code that I use. Um, I hope it helps you. Thanks for hanging out with me at 365 Prints.